dinner was, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna allow myself to go out to eat. I've gone out to eat plenty of times in my life. With mashed potatoes. I've gained a lot of weight as you guys know and as you guys can tell. Someone's like, just eat less carbs. I'm like, no, because carbs is what sends oxygen to your brain. Um, what was that? I spent $15 for this. Because I'm big enough for people to sit on me and I look like a couch. Oh my god. Okay, I'm cutting onion. Bend over, I'm about to handcuff your ass. Probably not something I should have done. Oh yeah, that's code for $15. <laughs> big, big. The party game that breaks all your boundaries. Are you guys ready? Yeah, they're not very good at shuffling because they're kind of like hard and stiff. <laughs> what did you lie about the last time your boss believed your BS? I can safely say I've never lied to a boss. Wah, wah, wah. Like what? What is the grossest thing you have discovered growing on your body? Oh my god. I want to say my lymphedema because it's just growing on my body and it's not stopping and it's just like it's here to stay. What the f What happened during a time you felt like you needed to apologize during I guess the time where I felt like I needed to apologize. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Ugh. One time I started crying because it was just so passionate. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just because it was so passionate and lovely and I started crying and I had to apologize. Oh, boo -hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Next, what was wrong with you the last time you really didn't want to see a doctor? I mean, I don't want to see one now, and it's like just some pelvic pain situation that I'm going through. Okay, what famous person do you most dislike that people say you resemble? When I was in high school, a lot of people said I looked like Kelly Clarkson and I got it from a lot of people. Why the f you lying? I had sexual relations <clears throat> in a movie theater in high school with a boyfriend and um, it was a crowded movie theater and that's all you need to know. You've consistently disappointed us. If you were a witch, what would you secretly chant for when no one else could hear you? Make me skinny. Make me skinny. Make me skinny. Haba dabra kadabra. What? Well, maybe it is stupid, but it's also dumb. Ooh, I'm so turned on. In what ways have you sabotaged other people over the years? I don't sabotage people like what? What is the oddest thing you have ever stuck inside of yourself? No. Like what? Uh, I'm gonna regret this video. Correct! This was 15 years ago, what I'm about to tell you. So you guys can't twist it and say that I'm some type of freak or whatever. We've all done our stupid stuff. I was 15 years old, okay? I had a boyfriend and he wanted me <laughs> He wanted me to take a photo of, <laughs> can't even say it, I can't even say it, oh my god. He wanted me to take a photo of a toothbrush up my vajinky, and I did. <sighs> Why were you ashamed the last time you took a walk of shame? Hmm, probably like binge eating, like I was hanging out with Ben and Jerry. Wah, wah, wah. 
What were you doing the last time you felt pathetic? Right now, I literally feel like this video is pathetic. Correct! What is the most awful nickname someone has ever given you? Well, the internet has given me a few nicknames that I'd rather not um, enjoy. Liar Lynn, hate it. Big Al, hate it. You know. Well, maybe it's just because you're ugly. How would you describe your worst kiss ever? We played truth or dare. It is what it is. And they kissed horrendously. The worst kisser I've ever, ever kissed in my life. All right, this is gonna be the last one. What do you often lie to get out of doing? Becky, my back hurts. Will you go get me a soda? <laughs> what happened the last time your passion got out of control? Yeah, I'd like 6,000 chicken vaginas, please. I beg your pardon. Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, I'm passionate about shopping and that kind of gets out of control and I'll spend way too much money. <laughs> I'm in danger. 